Close your eyes, watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. Although the word watch may not be the right word, feel the breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to hold in mind the perception. It's not that you're up in your head watching the breath go through the body. You're in the body with the breath, and the breath is bathing you all around. When you can have that sense of the breath energy all around, it's a lot easier to settle into the present moment and have a sense of stability. We're creating a home for the mind here, and as with every home, you want the foundation to be solid. So if everything is connected inside the body, the breath is flowing from the top of the head down to the feet without any obstruction. That's like a house with a good solid foundation, and all the parts of the house are connected. This way, if any earthquakes come, any storms come, we're in a safe place. If the mind is not well founded, it can get blown away really easily. There are the winds of the world. There's gain and then there's loss. There's status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These are things that are ready to blow our house around if the foundation isn't strong. So you want to be well grounded in the body. You're here in the present moment, fully in the present moment. And that way you can be well established. As the Buddha said, you're ardent, alert, and mindful. Mindful to keep the breath in mind, alert to see what's going on right here, right now. And then you're ardent. You're trying to do this well. These are the three qualities you have to depend on to get the mind to stay on where you want it to. Because otherwise you forget where you are if you're not mindful. Or if you're not paying careful attention, the mind can wander off and do all kinds of things. The students in a classroom and the teacher's not there, they can do all kinds of things. You want to be here watching over them, the mind as it's making choices in the present moment. That's your alertness. You want to remember what's skillful, what's not skillful. And then you try your best to keep everything skillful right here, right now. Those are the qualities you depend on. When the Buddha says that we take the establishing of mindfulness as our refuge, these are the qualities that form the refuge. Because on its own, the breath is just breath. The body is just the body. Feelings are just feelings. You can't really depend on them very much. Even with mind and middle qualities, if you just sit there watching things coming and going, there's not much to depend on. But it's when you apply these three qualities, that's when you've got a refuge inside. You've got the Vihara Dhamma, the home for the mind. It's well founded, well protected. And no matter what winds and storms come its way, you're safe inside. <laughs>